Hi, this is Kevin of KGM Jam Owner Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today, and start advertising for free. The uh, just got done watching Bronze Dragons weekly Saturday morning stream starts at 11:30, um, and then last night I missed it. Uh, Splinter Zone did their stream. And it's usually Friday nights. I think it starts about five-ish or something. But anyway, go go like and subscribe them and uh, pay attention to those times because um, very good videos. Uh, Splinter Zone is in big on playing the game, actually playing it, and I've learned a few things from them watching it. Uh, they don't give themselves enough credit. They're much better at the game than they think they are, and uh, they joined my guild, and they went like three and one or four and one. So that right there tells you. But um, anyway, welcome to the guild, and let's see how we did last night. Congratulations to everybody who won the uh, the rage cards given out. Now I sent one already over to one of the winners. Let me do this right now before I forget. But Martino Martelli, I have not, I've got your name, but I don't got your IGN name now. You subscribed to me during this giveaway the other day. You might or might not known about the giveaway. So, I mean, maybe you were just subscribing to subscribe and didn't know about it. I don't know. Uh, either way, I need your uh, in-game name to get it over to you. Mary Vania, you got yours. Congratulations. And, um... If I don't hear from you, I guess in a couple days I'm going to have to try to give it back out to somebody else. I don't know. I, I'm trying to get a hold of you, but because it's through YouTube, there's no way for me to directly contact you. <clears throat> so anyway, um, we went, let's see, we got the fourth place, got 10 crowns, a bunch of merits, some SPS. Uh, as far as individually, telepathic was in first target. Oh, that's me. Claudius, that's the uh, Splinter Zone guys. Four and two. Simple Nuts, four and three. Trash Panda, three and oh. Trash Panda actually was undefeated. Uh, Monster 20, three and five. And that, there's my guy. That's usually where I'm at is at the bottom. Shadow Morph, two and five. But uh, we got a few spots left. We got four more spots. It will be growing as we build the, um, the guild. So send me a request, and I'll send you over an invite, and I'll be glad to let you in. I'm not asking you to put any money into it. If you do, just don't donate it permanently. Just, you know, put that way if you leave, you take 90% with you. Um, you're more than welcome to help out, of course. Anything's thinking. But I, I just want you to show up, get some uh, stuff to help you build your equity in the game faster and better. Uh, if you're not in a guild, and you might not want to go into mine, go join one or start your own. It's definitely worth having it. I, I waited way too long and missed out on a year of not being in a guild. And that's on me. Um, so anyway, very glad with the results. The um, Let's go look at my numbers real quick. I did get enough merits for a Gladius pack, so I'll be opening that in a second. But let's go to my numbers. And yesterday was a big, kind of a big drop on the gold cards. This is my gold account. So when all these numbers go down like that, the people are dumping gold cards. Um, this is my regular foil, and this is my rental and sell account. And um, there's my land. I got five properties. I praised them at 100 a piece. It might be more, it might be less, but that's just a number I went with. $345 in SPS. Nice little jump in SPS last night for a total value of 4091 over three years. Uh, I've been in it, yeah, roughly about three years. Not bad for um, the whole time has been a bear market. And here's my profit. This is I put in $10 a day. I put some more money in here through PayPal, but I added that in. So I just hit 3000 after three years. And I'd walk away today with 1091 so, uh, like I keep telling everybody, my strategy is to build equity in the game. So I haven't taken any out. When I do so, it will be through SPS. And I'm probably going to wait till that gets up to a dollar. And that might that could be 10 years from now. I don't know. But that's my strategy. And then I'll just take out enough to cover 
that uh, the amount that I put into it pretty much. <clears throat> but I mean, everybody's going to be different. That's just what I'm doing. Okay. Um, Bronze Dragon was talking a lot about that concept. I got that from affiliate marketing. And the, the point is, is that you're just trying to get a buzz going to, to attract the attention of the algorithm. If you do that, the algorithm can do much more work than you ever could to promote Splinterlands as well as your uh, web uh, channel at the same time. Because if it takes over and it decides that it wants to promote your site or promote Splinterlands, it's off to the races as far as numbers and you know. I, now, does that translate to people joining? I don't know, but it's it's what else can you do, you know? And that's pretty much stuff you're doing anyway. I can't, I can't believe how many people, and I'm one of them. I go to a video, I watch it for whatever reason. I don't push the like button. It takes. It should be the first thing you do when you get there. And you're like, what's the big deal about it? it? Because it helps the algorithm. That's what you're trying to... I, I don't like to use the word manipulate because it, it has bad sound to it. But it, it's legal. They, it's That's one of the things it looks for. There's probably a, a, over 100 things that the algorithm looks for. It's top secret. But we know that one of them is the, the, the like button, the um, subscribing uh, comment people who leave comments that's the kind of things that we know for a fact affects the uh, the algorithm so uh, anyway it's taken off and I, I'm interested I'm going to tr start looking for some data to see if it's actually what you know if we can see any kind of a bump in it and everybody can be involved in it, it doesn't just have to be youtubers just anybody can do that you know what I'm saying um, all right let's get over to the land and claim that real quick. I've got five properties here that I claim about two, three times a day. 13 hours is the last time I claim. Now this one, all it does is collect grain. So I'm going to harvest it. And then all I do is stack it. And right now I'll show you I got, because the other property takes care of all the other ones. Okay, I still don't have a totem piece yet. That's starting to bother me. Hundred. I mean, I've got some out of the shop, but I haven't gotten one on the property. 180,000 stacks. So I'm just going to save that for a rainy day. And then this one, which is my, get the best cards on it. This produces enough grain to cover everybody. So let me harvest. And there we go. So now what I do right away is I go up here. Since th this land doesn't need any grain because it produces it itself. And I will just max out the 5979. And I just put it on the one that's the lowest right here. And this has two uh, lands on it. It's on the same track. So they share the same silo. And that's all I do. Land's only 1% open right now, so it's it's pretty much just an accumulation phase and giving you time to build up the land with cards and etc. So let's go back to here and now do my research and my two properties with SPS. I've never spent an SPS unless I had to, and I can't remember if there's been a time I had to because uh, that's the, my long game is SPS. And I think that's a lot of people's long game. I'm more interested in building the equity in the game and building my deck or rebuilding it because I destroyed it, putting it all on land. And 
let's go to here. And now the last two are SPS. Okay. Yeah, part part of that in no totem piece. Did you see that? Not a one. Now I I really don't have good chances to get one, but I was expecting the the more time involved, it does raise your chance a little bit, from what I understand. But um, here's what I'm calling the buzz list. These are all NFO guides. He's the one everybody was using. His Baron's Toolbox for the drop or for the giveaways, pretty much. Uh, go like and subscribe to him. He's also producing a game that will go along with Splinterlands. He doesn't work for uh, Splinterlands. He's just a, a fan and a you know spare time makes it up. But go check out uh, Baron's Toolbox and like and subscribe to him. But these are all the ones I follow and watch. And as I and, and I got to get over on Twitch. I know about bugs, bags, and caps. But, you know, for some reason, Twitch seems like a thousand miles away because it's, you know, different than YouTube. But I'm going to get over there. I, I did subscribe to him and start supporting him over there. Um, but everybody here, if you haven't, go like and subscribe to him. Comment. Watch their videos. Help promote this platform. Okay. And if there's anybody not on this list that you know of, send me because I want to get everybody. Everybody's. Uh, that's making videos I want on this list if possible so I think that's all that I have from that okay so now let's go check out what I did last night now one of the good things about this new system coming out it's got me thinking I'm going to try to play modern one the winnings are better but I, I want to check it out uh in fact, I'm just going to do this. Wait, hold on. I am... Oh, I'm in Silver 3. I got a battle. Let's go battle. This is the nice thing about having a bot is you can jump in and battle whenever you want. Like if I want to... Uh, I, I can change it to every two hours so that that gives me about 12 battles a day to do. Let me show off my talent here. Oh, which one was I using a lot of? I like death. I could use the fire. Let's see what I got here on the... Oh, this one's only... Okay, that one's not a good one to use. Probably General Sloan. And of course, it's not letting you use General Sloan. Let's see how I got... Okay, I'm running out of time. Let me try. I think I'm going to go fire. That's going to probably be my best bet. Okay, I want to put him last. And I got 23. I'm going to put him first. I definitely want to put him. Because he heals. Damn, but I can't put in the big guy. Which one would be better? I'm going to go with the Cornelius. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is my opponent. So I got him matched on this. I might win this one, guys. I got a good chance. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I got this one. I've got this one. Or maybe not. What the heck happened there? 
I'm going to get him through fatigue, but how did he increase? Now, you see what's happening here? My guy can't shoot. I didn't think it would come to this, but it did. But with the heel, he can't get him. It's a, it's a push, right? So after about 20-something rounds, I'm going to win through fatigue. See, fatigue affects the health, not the the armor. So I'm going to win this one. Well, there we go. Okay. Anyway, let's go look at what I won last night. I would like to start streaming. I just, I'm not set up for it. And, 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 but if I did a stream, it'd be battling, you know, just playing the game. And, and having talking to people who want to talk about it. If you're on the fence about making videos, that's all you got to do. Just make a video of what you do in the game. That's all I do. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, some of these guys make really good, you know, Gathering the Magic, Dwayne Cunningham, Bronze Dragon, After Sound, Gank and Keys. You know, all these guys, uh, they all make some really deep, you know, good data-driven videos and stuff like that, and there's more of them. But a lot of us just just make a video playing the game, what and your, share your strategy, type thing, you know. Uh, so anyway, let's go. And I did my DCA already to save time, and I, I've I kinked my my strategy just a little bit. Um, show you what I'm doing here. And that was since yesterday. But what I've been doing is I'm trying to build up my gold card summoners, right? And I've almost done it. Got him done, him done, him done. She's done. But I bought another one. I'm not touching him yet because I want, I want the price to come down to $3. <coughs> Let's see what it's at today. And there we go. It's down to three. So tonight, if it's still there, I'll I'll get them under under four. I'll get them. But um, it was it was four seventy five last night. So what I did was I bought one here because what I'm doing is I'm going to send this to my buy or my my sell and rent account, which is not that one. So WTF bought one. And then I'm going to rent these. I'm going to max out some more summoners and rent them out. Or sell, depending on, you know, what's what's going on with that. Um, and I'll do that. But I, I, that's going to be a part of my strategy for a while now until things get crazy. Okay. So I did that. And then the other thing I did was... And the, the way I'm building my deck... And maxing it out is um, doesn't have to be Chaos Legion. But what I'm doing is I'm just going to the market and I'm buying the cheapest gold that I don't have maxed out yet. That way, every day I get the cheapest one. So I'm, I'm this one was the cheapest. So let's combine them all. And I'm, I think that's going to put me halfway there. And that's a strategy I'm going to keep as it's going to take me a while. And I'm not always getting the card I want, or, or but it's a card I need to, to max out. And I'm, don't forget, I'm also a collector. So, you know, if it's not the best card for my deck, I don't care is because I want to collect it. And I've made up my mind I'm going to max these out. So all I do is I go to the market and I put it on the price. It can be, since I do wild, I can be in anything, so it don't matter. You know, I keep saying I might go to modern, but I'm probably not because I don't got a, well, actually Chaos Legion's still in modern. So I could still hang out in modern, maybe for a little while longer. But anyway, but see, I just, I have him maxed out, him maxed out. He's maxed out. I think I need to work on him. So he's down, but they drop every day. Yeah, see, I work on him tonight. 
if he's still down there. But they're always up and down. And I'll just work my way up the ladder. But what it does is it makes sure every day I'm buying the cheapest gold card that I can for what I need to complete my set type thing. And for a while, though, they're pretty cheap. You know, they're pretty whatever. Okay, so then the other thing that I'm doing, and I still can use them in the game, you know, so it doesn't matter. But the other thing I'm doing every day out of that $10 is I'm getting some alpha cards. <clears throat> and the same thing. I just get the, uh, the cheapest one, which happens to be this guy right now. Now, let me put this into perspective. There's only 4,807 of these left in circulation. There's still more in packs. There's not very many packs left. So I imagine maybe 5,000 would be maybe less. You know, maybe maybe six, 7,000. I don't know. Who knows how many, whatever packs are left in there, if they're in those packs. But here's the point I'm making. It takes almost 400 cards to max these out. So there's only maybe... 15 to 20 maxed out of these cards left in existence that aren't already owned by somebody. So it, it's like, and plus I can use it, you know, I get a bonus for having an alpha card for land and the game. So let me um, combine the cards. And as a collectible, alpha cards are the way to go. If you, if you really want to build up a collection that's going to be worth something it's going to be the alpha cards because they're just in i don't know how much longer they're going to be very they're already rare but they're going to be very hard to get a hold of um okay so let's that's what i did with the cards and then i bought a couple packs of chaos legion send it over the tar habit we'll be over there in a second so let's go ahead i'm uh i get donated to this by somebody that's incredible and I do have potions to use on it and I get one a day until he gets tired of doing it <laughs> or I piss him off whatever comes first but I appreciate it and it's he's been helping me build my uh, Re rebellion account so I got an epic no rare so that's already an above average pack because you're guaranteed an epic I mean a rare, so to get that. So any of these can be gold now. Nice, fantastic. Okay, and then I got a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Gladius packed open from the guild yesterday. I got enough merits. Now I don't always have potions because I don't want to buy potions. I'd rather spend them on cards. And I'm not a big renter. Now, renting is a great system if you use it right. I just don't like to rent. And same thing with this. You're guaranteed a rare, but I got two rares. So this is an above average pack too. And any of these can be gold. And I love this guy right here. I love him. And let's go check out that rare. Captain Kate, good. This guy, if you get him going... And he, he can do a lot of damage from that second position. And at first he's slow, but and but his if you can keep him alive for three or four rounds, he just takes off and starts kicking ass. Any of these cards do with this rage, but he he especially as a I love that second hand position ability. Okay, and I'll put them together later. And then what I do with my rebellion. Is I just I take them all off, or it says clear all, and you can only do that once an hour. So don't mess up, otherwise you have to wait another hour to do it. But I take them all off, I combine them, and then I auto fill them back on. That's the now you think well you're going to lose some points for a couple minutes while you do that. Yeah, but the points, the extra points you're adding on, that you know happens every hour for the next 24 hours. It's it's it, it erases that that loss, so it's beneficial to go ahead and put these on as fast as you can. But I'll do that after the video to save time. Um, let's go over here now and log out, 
and go to Taro Cabot. Now I'm doing this now because it's a lot easier to trans it, transferring all the common cards, regular foil over to this account was time consuming. And so this way, if I get a gold, actually I got three this time. If I got a gold card, maybe one, if, if ever, and then you just send it over. It's a lot easier. So that's what I'm going to do from now on. Plus, I'm getting potions over here from the, uh, the chest. So I might as well use them up, right? And I do got one potion to use. So let's go open all three. Man, Chaos Legion's the best bang for the buck right now. I, I'm pretty much set up on a strategy. I'm taking the I'm taking from the game what it will give me. As far as just constantly trying to be on the cheapest part of, you know, get what I what I want, what I what fits my strategy, but getting it at the best price, which, you know, that's something everybody should do. Okay, I'm guaranteed three rare, and I already got the three rare right here. So anything more is a bonus. That's a bonus. That's a bonus. Okay, no epic or legendaries, but any of these can be gold, right? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that one, but I'll take it. Oh, there's a gold right there. Fantastic. And I think I just maxed him out. But no summoners today. Wow. Okay. All right. So I got to go to transfer back over. And that will go towards my set. And the rest of these are building up my regular foil. Same thing. Simple strategy. Max the cards out. Let me go see if I've got that maxed out yet. Let's go to gold. Let me send them on over to KGM Jam. So if you wanted to do a strategy like this, you'd need three accounts. One for the gold, one for the regular, and one to rent and sell. But you could just have one and do them. I just like keeping it separated. It makes it easier for me. Um, will I ever add another account? I might. I might. But right now I'm so busy with these three, it's really no need to. Okay, so let me go. And now these are all the gold cards that... I, because I have extra from the other count. And then these are the so bound. How'd he get here? That must be Yeah, that's regulated. I was gonna or delegated. I was gonna say I know I didn't open somebody has sent me a whole bunch of from VT Mac Guru. Well thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Okay. Let's go back over to KGM Jam. <coughs> and once you get COVID, it's hard to get rid of that cough. It's I'm also on blood pressure medicine. That might be causing the cough also. Okay, so let's go to KGM Jam. And if this is, if I've got him maxed out already, I might, I'll send him over to the sell and rent. I might sell him to get some more cards. But we'll find out here in a second. And there he is. And yeah, I'm already, or no, I'm working on that. Awesome. So this, this is going to work out great. So that will put him up to 16 in the box out of 38. So I, I need, oh, well, 16, 26, 36, 22 more cards. 
Okay, awesome. And that's it. Um, please like and subscribe. If you get a chance, go check out Pro Advertisers Club. Uh, if you haven't joined Splinterlands yet, you, you need to. You really do. This game, I, I got a feeling it's going to take off bigger than it was last time. Um, we'll see. Not financial advice. Listen to me own risk. This is entertainment purposes only. But um, it's $10 to join. You got to purchase a spell book. And then you can have access to everything if you got any questions please leave it below join any of the links below that helps me thank you for spending your time with me i know your time is valuable and have a wonderful day